Okay, so I've got Coach Creon with me after a very impressive 83-66 win over the Milk Cleans Lions. Coach, do you want to talk us through the game? Um, you know, we came into the game knowing it was very important for us to get this to keep um, obviously in contact with the bunch just above the eighth place. So we knew that you know they had a win I think on Friday night or whenever it was and we needed to keep pace. Um, we started the game really sluggishly, but once we got into um, got our defense going, which, which we feed off, fed off, um, that made a big difference. So you know, I'm absolutely thrilled that we played some good team basketball and got the win. Yeah. I mean, looking at it from the stands, I thought that was probably our best defensive performance of the season because the Milton Keynes Lions are a very high-scoring team or have the capability of being a very high-scoring team. We held them to 66 points and really took them out of their stride, particularly in the second half. Did you have a, a particular scheme for that, or was it just people We spoke jobs? about, you know, people making sacrifices, and, um, you know, Macklemore and Teo have been carrying the scoring for quite a while now, uh, but they had a focus in on just trying to keep uh, uh, bowls quiet, which I think they did a great job. They got him frustrated, you know, it's not great to see a player get ejected, uh, you know, Teo got a big uh, slap on the back, got five fingers on his shoulder right now, but. I think that we fed up them trying to keep their key men out of it and you know when we needed to close out we closed out on shots. Yeah and I mean offensively it was a very balanced performance we had four guys uh, five guys scoring double figures you know no, but nobody scoring more than 16 so you must have been pleased with the team sharing the ball sharing the wealth not relying on one or two players. Yeah I mean I think that's been our strength is that there's no individual that you can key in on. I felt um, JJ at the times that JJ came in off the bench was very instrumental. Um, he played that six-man role perfectly, and hopefully we can, you know, keep him involved the way he did um, today. Um, we'll probably get True Laska back into the starting lineup. You know, Aldo's done a great job. He's a young point guard who I have a lot of, lot of faith in. He's going to have some highs and he's going to have some lows. So, um, but you know, all, all in all, we we never rotated as much as I normally would. And I think that that helps sometimes because you know we are deep, but you don't want to be just changing for the sake of your people around. And so, what, what's the thinking behind starting with Albert? Because obviously he was starting while Drew was out. Has it just been a case of letting Drew work his way back in? Yeah, it's uh, exactly that. You know, Albert did a great job. You know, um, Drew. You know, you earn your your minutes and you earn your you know you started practice working out hard, going through the plays. Um, Drew had a bad day, you know, sort of not his uh, knee. From one game, it was a tight hamstring, so I don't want to throw him in um, too soon. You know, hopefully he can get a good week of training, yep. and he'll be in the starting uh, lineup, and then Andrew will um, we'll have uh, Albert resort back to just giving him a little blow here and there. And how pleased are you with the way Frank Holmes is settling in and fitting into the team? Uh, you know, it's a difficult thing to do. You've been sitting at home for you know just over half a season. You know, everybody's up at fitness level, so the, the speed is something. No matter how hard you train. Um, it's not going to come without games, you know, so I felt that he did really great to play about 90 minutes or so, uh, but he, uh, you know, had eight minutes, eight, eight rebounds in that time and about five, five, um, five, five points. So, you know, I think there's a lot more to come from him and um, I think we've got a good, good uh, balance, you know, down low with um, him and Sean. Yeah, and again, that was a good rebounding performance when we out rebounded them 46 to 33, which, you know, is is a pleasant thing from a from a Heat fan point of view, given given our struggles in the past. Yeah, I think obviously coming off the Plymouth game, we were totally pounding on the backboards. We spoke about it at halftime because I think they were still leading the, the battle at halftime or so. But you know they were without a great rebound in Northern. But you know yeah. we, we we played a lot of games with uh, good players sideline. So we take the win and you know see you know. Uh, Keep pace with Glasgow and everybody else that's above us, and hopefully, you know, get a couple more. Okay. So, looking uh, to the season as a whole, we've obviously done very well in uh, 2012. We're what four and one now, with a couple of wins on the road, two wins at home, and since getting that first win at Mersey, we're six and two. So, you feel everything's coming together? Yeah, I think you know we we lost a lot of close, close games. We, you know, we are missing certain players. And it's you know it's a competitive league you know so I'm really you know we said that at the turn of the year we just you know it's a new focus new look let's not look back and let's compete you know let's um, focus on getting a winning record you know uh, we've gone through January did what we we, we, we needed to do um, I keep my fingers crossed that um, Fab from Noy gets Coach of the Month for January so that I don't get that accolade because last time I got Coach of the Month it was a terrible month after that so. <laughs> 
very superstitious and I don't need that. <laughs> yeah. And I mean, you must be pleased, it's said before about losing close games. I mean, we won two really close games on, on the road. The overtime win at Chester, the last second uh, win at Sheffield. So you've got to be pleased with the team's composure and ability to close out games. Yes, I think, you know, um, the big part of that is obviously having somebody like Drew Lasker. Very cool under pressure, doesn't panic, he's been in the league for a while, knows what to do. So um, when you've got somebody at the point that, that is calm and it, it kind of like feeds, goes off on everybody else on the team. So, you know, he's contributed to that. But, you know, that was one of our big problems, not being able to win close games. And now that we've figured it out, we have a lot more confidence going down the line.